short <laughs> it's 6 45 i have a bunch of deliveries to do and usually i don't start this early with deliveries but i have a microblading appointment which i want to take you guys for as well excited scared it's a mix of feelings <laughs> okay let's go because i need to go so i'm here well technically the place is behind me but you know you can't see but i'm going to take you in with me i'm scared <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so I'm finally here with Brenda. Oh no, just come into the light because I'm like, no, there's a mess. No worries. Hi. Hi. So this is Brenda. Yes. She is the person who's going to be doing all of the, the eyebrows. Yeah. Wait, no, Brenda, just say like real quick, what do you do? I am a microblader certified. Where is my certificate? Certified. <laughs> From SMA Beauty. Boom. Yes. Yeah, I do this. That's what I do. I do makeup as well. Okay. So I'm going to do Fiona's eyebrows today. <sighs> okay. They are full, but we'll make them just a little fuller. Okay. Excited, let's do this. So Brenda and I had gotten to talking a little bit about what microblading is yes. and I thought that it's kind of like tattooing but not really. Yeah, it's a form of tattooing because mm -hmm. there are different techniques of tattooing. Mm -hmm. But with microblading, it's semi-permanent. Okay. You don't have it for life. It yeah. runs out as your skin regenerates. Okay. So say one to two years. Yeah. Most people one and a half to two years. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the type of your skin. Oily skin okay. runs out faster, dry skin holds long. <gasps> Dry skin! Yeah. have done the mapping, mapping process, process. Yeah. so that's all the stuff you see in my face and we're just going to come up with the final shape yeah. okay so
just going to chat a little bit with Brenda on this business. So how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for three years now. Okay. Oh, well. Two years. I started in 2018. Okay. I was pregnant at the time, so I didn't okay. really practice after I think I started practicing properly in 2019. Okay. Yeah early 2019. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the confidence because this, this micro blading is very hard. It's not like yeah. micro shading where you use a machine and the machine kind of guides you. Mm -hmm. It's freehand, like you're drawing hair stroke in freehand. Wait, wait. Micro shading, is that the one that kind of, it looks more makeup? -y? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's the cosmetic look here. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I think I've seen that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So this one is harder because you have to do the stroke. So let me show you something. These are my practice sheets. This is not that, it's ink. Yeah. So this is where I started from. Check how terribly I was. I used to practice on these sheets. They're actually cuts, if you look closely. Yeah. They're okay. Cuts, yeah. So I started there. This is a better one. Until I perfected my stroke. They have to be. I'm not sure, like, a close up of it. Yeah. Okay, this is like art stuff. Like, yeah, they're behind. How are you going to be drawing? <laughs> Eyebrows. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this so, yeah. is really interesting. I feel like it's one of those things that um, we don't like know a lot about. I first saw, you know, how Nairobi is Kenya gets stuff before us. 100%. So I saw yeah. Nasi Moi doing, oh, micro blading, micro shading. Yeah. I was like, what is this stuff? And my mind was just like, oh, it's a tattoo for your eyebrows. Yeah. And, but it's so intricate. Yeah, but you can mix the two techniques. You can mix yeah. shading and blading, but that depends on the person's eyebrow. Okay. Usually, someone who has nothing, mm -hmm. uh, blend is good. Okay. You mix the hair with the shade because they have nothing, but you yeah. have hair. Yeah. So I just needed to adjust strokes to just give it volume. Yeah. yeah you can mix the two techniques. Okay. Yeah. Things you didn't know. Uh, one and a half to two years. Two years. It's just yeah. You get two just treatments as well. Mm -hmm. You get to treatments this, and then after 40 days, I'll give you a retouch. Okay. Go over the same strokes. Add anything if there's any spaces because you can't overwork the skin in one session. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so what? Anyway, I'm excited but scared. <laughs> yeah, it's scary to do something that permanent in your face. It wasn't because when I was getting a tattoo, for some reason, it just didn't freak me out. But then it's like your face. What if I look weird? Yeah. What if like what if it goes wrong? <laughs> what if I have gigantic <laughs> eyebrows? <laughs> and then you're so crazy. Very but boring. I'll work with. Within yeah. the line, not outside it, inside it. Yeah. But I've always wanted to do it. I've wanted to do it for like two years now because I don't. I'm just because I don't do makeup yeah. often. I just feel like that. Yeah, you have to just wake just, up like that. You yeah. just like wake up and maybe just tiny bit of yeah. this and that, this and that. Oh, uh, there's people who want to come here when they're pregnant. I can't work on pregnant women. No. I can't work on breastfeeding women. Is what's, that, is that what's the reason? I don't know, there's no research around it, so what if oh, the, no, the ink know. affects the baby or themselves? I, I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Okay. So you just yeah. come when you're... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just you, healthy and all of that. Yeah, I'm like to say not to breastfeeding mothers. Yeah. yeah, but that makes sense. I feel... Yeah. It, I'm not take a risk. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. It's like a long, long process. process. It's a long process. I mean, if, you're and you're pregnant, pregnant, and then you're pregnant, and you back straight, and, and, and it's exhausting. And yeah. the next thing you know, you have one eyebrow. It's like, I'm <laughs> done, I'm leaving. Yeah, you know, she gets a mood, and I'm done. Come out. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's the information. Yeah, yeah. that's the info, okay. pretty much. But yeah. it's, it's a must do because yeah. it's very, very much a I prefer it to my crochet. Not because that's what I mainly do, but yeah. <laughs> really. But it looks even for me, like just from seeing videos and seeing yes. other people who have done shading and blading. Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted blading because I didn't want the super cosmetic look. Yeah. It looks nice, but like I don't want to wake up in the day. morning and I look... Yeah, it's not an everyday thing. Like, it's just not an everyday thing. Yeah. I don't want to wake up every morning and it's just like, you know, yeah. super cosmetic. But I guess it works for some people. Just yeah. test and preference yeah. and stuff test like and that. Preference. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to just like a full, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, so nice natural looking eye brows. brows. Okay. okay. <laughs> to the process. <laughs> Now it feels weird. I know, it feels weird, right? Yeah, it feels really weird. <laughs> it's like, I don't have eyebrows that I can feel. I don't know, not that we really feel them. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. Okay, okay. so far no pain. <laughs> Oh, 
out. Like, like sliced already. already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The shape's really nice. There's a bowl inside under my skin and like tingling. Oh, they look really good. They look nice. The shape is really, really. It's pretty much the shape I had, but enhanced. Yeah, it's fuller. Mm -hmm. Nice. You apply it after two days? After two days, yeah. when I apply it. Because I want you to dry it with I use dry it. So keep water away from your Okay, so this is the little aftercare cut thing. Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to say it's 150 something. So yeah, it actually took <laughs> shorter time than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was like three or something. But yeah, but it depends on the person, right? Yeah, it depends on the person. How easy yeah. you numb? If you numb easily and hold the numb longer, then it's a shorter time here. Yeah. But there's people who in the middle they're in pain, so I have to re numb and wait. So that's okay. That's what is the determinant of the time. Okay, so it really depends. Some of us are just lucky. <laughs> post post procedure, my eyebrows look so pretty. So pretty. The person who did the eyebrows. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so you what do you want to talk about? Oh yeah, how much is this procedure? The procedure is seven hundred thousand. You get two treatments, one a second one after forty days. But there's a Christmas promotion which is 455,000 until February. Okay, okay. And these things last you for two years. Till so February. So still collect your things till February. Yeah, 455,000. Okay. I'm coming to the light. I feel like you're not in the light. I'm in the The artist. Yeah, I am. The eyebrows. <laughs> The eyebrow artist. Oh, they're so nice. They're really, really nice. I love them. I, I love can't them. wait. I can't I wait to. About them. I wish I could do them to myself. Really. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys will come with me, you know, during the whole healing process, whatever, yes. and see what it's like. And then in the next 40 days, when I come back, she we will shall. Do. Oh, yeah. Uh, more actually, pigment. Maybe. More pigment. Yeah, so that it can last you that long. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's kind of like a. Yeah, just reinforcing the reinforcement process. is the one yeah. I was looking for. Yeah. So in the next 40 days, we'll come back, do that with Brenda, and you guys will see where I'm at by I'm then. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's being numb again. I've said yeah. this is so strange. Yeah. And those people who have just never gone to the dentist, I don't know. It, it it's maybe like, about three hours, it should be okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah. oh, it's so nice. Oh, I love thank it. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That shape suits you so much. It really, really does. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. We've over just, but yeah, it's nice. But thank you, thank Brenda. You. I really for you. I'll be waiting for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, I work with men too. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> it's day two, the day after the procedure. Okay, first things first. Let me just come closer. I know you guys can see that. <laughs> you see that unevenness? I promise you, it wasn't just... For some reason, I couldn't see it yesterday. And Brenda couldn't see it either. But I don't think that's unusual. Because you know how sometimes you have to step back from something for, for some time before you actually 
can point out issues um so i freaked out for like five minutes when i got home <laughs> but then um i remember that when i was talking to brenda she was explaining to me that one of the various purposes of the second session which is 40 days after is to you know fix any symmetry issues any anything really so i was like ah it's fine it's fine it's all good uh, so that aside it's i mean obviously it's very dark my sister said it looks like polish <laughs> it is extremely dark so when i woke up in the morning i was like hey why am i so dark but um yeah i feel, i don't know it, it surprisingly isn't bothering me that much for someone that doesn't wear makeup it's just like meh, okay i guess it's because also i know the progression will you know okay um it's a tad no it's not puffy anymore yesterday it was a little bit sore and puffy now it's only a tiny bit sore but no pain at all i really i'm not feeling any pain um i don't know maybe i was, I was just fortunate that uh, my body takes on the whole numbing process quite easily uh but you know before you're supposed to take like five days of alcohol so i was very strict about it. actually it took seven days without alcohol i wanted my body to be as prepared as it can be for the numbing process um brenda said that sometimes people <laughs> take the leap and actually not the leap take the risk and actually take alcohol and then it messes with the numbing you know like in between you it keeps wearing off really quickly don't do it I don't think it's a good idea those needles are sharp <laughs> so anyway yeah um i really do feel fine it's just a little bit tight which is expected again i'm really just like comparing this to the whole tattoo process this is what a tattoo feels like um day two it's just it's a little bit tight and yeah that's really that's really where we're at right now um so you can't the area can't come into contact with water because that's like a an infection risk and also you have to just <laughs> find other ways so i've been using my that one i love this stuff this stuff is really really good my my cellar water delicate skin and eyes because i really do have the most delicate skin what um but yeah it's i mean it says even here like you can do it's a complete cleaning of the skin and you don't even need to rinse so this is what i've been using i mean I reckon maybe I can just be washing like the bottle, huh? <laughs> For a while, but I guess I'll figure it out as I go. But this is fine and my face is fine. It's fine. Anyway, so I feel like that's a full update of all of that. I, I'll keep taking you um, along in the next couple of days as we observe what is going on with my eyebrows. Um, it really is going to be like a crazy stage, I think, this first like 10 days yeah so um oh one more thing is that i can't really work out uh because brenda advised that you know just like the sweat i can't do like an intense workout because the sweat and all coming into contact is not a good idea and i have been doing okay oh, not crazy intense but i have been doing you know some medium intensity workouts and you know it works up a bit of a sweat so I want to avoid, I also really want to be safe, you know, keep the area really as dry and okay as I can. So I'm, I've decided to switch to yoga instead. I'll be doing yoga for like the next two weeks. I don't want to, I don't want to risk anything. We are going to do this right. Okay, so there ends this update. Hello people, so day three, uh, let me just come in close so you can see, I feel fine, it's not tight anymore, I don't know if you guys can tell it was super tight yesterday, but not in an uncomfortable way, just, just visible, visibly tight, so today is Wednesday, and Brenda told me that today is the day I start using my aftercare cream, I don't know, it feels, it feels more like a balm, but you know, eh, potato potato, so I have to apply this to my eyebrows, before I step out, I've decided that I'm gangsta enough <laughs> to move around with this <laughs> situation, okay? So I'm going to just use a, what do they call these, Q-tip, cotton bud, mm -hmm, that one. Let's get a bit of that. And put it on the eyebrow. I really should be using a mirror. But as 
Ooh, it feels um like uh I know I keep likening this to a tattoo, but that's what it feels like. Um, uh, cause you know it kind of feel you know like when a wound is scabbing. Yeah, it it has that kind of rough, rough um things when wounds are scabbing. If you know what I mean. I don't know why I just sang that. Anyway. Anyway, so that's us today. Gosh, my eyebrows are so dark. <laughs> I feel like I look crazy. But anyway, day three. Okay. One more thing. Brenda did tell me that I should just move with this in my bag all day. If I feel any dryness or whatever, I apply it. So I reckon the safest way to do this is to wrap my bow Q-tips, cotton buds, whatever these are called, in some cling film. So that I can just move with them. And when I need them, we do the thing. I look crazy. Hi guys, I apologize for the light. First of all, it's evening, you know, the sun is setting. Funny story, <laughs> I was on Buganda Road today, right? And some ladies, I passed by some ladies who are like selling airtime, parking tickets, whatever. And the ladies are like, one of the ladies is like, where are the casigue? I'm like, <laughs> Hi guys, day four. I'm probably going to lose count, but I'll keep putting the numbers for you guys to see. Um, but this is where we're at. Let me come in a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like you can't really see it here, but it is starting to scab a little. And you can see the little pieces that are, you know, sort of like how a wound scabs. So yeah, but what I know is that it's definitely going to keep get, getting darker and darker before it um the scabs start to come off and it's all patchy and it gets light so i'm really looking forward to that time because god damn <laughs> my eyebrows are so dark it's so weird i look crazy <laughs> day five so as you guys can see I am really getting into the patchy phase. See that? Because the scabbing has fully, I think, begun. And I really see things starting to shape up, you know? Um, like, you can see a little bit of that under stuff, you know, in the places where the scabbing has peeled. It, it looks really light and nice. But, you know, we'll have to be patient until all this scabbing is done. I feel like I have said scabbing a lot and I don't know if that's clear for everyone. It's like, you know, when you get a wound and that that crunchy black stuff <laughs> that shows up, yeah? That's, that's what happens with this as well. So, you know, just like a tattoo, you can't fuss with it. You have to leave it to slowly come off on its own. Um, I've actually just applied my aftercare gel cream thing. Um, it's kind of more of a bomb anyway, but yeah, so that is the situation Woo. This is about to be looking crazy <laughs> But it's gonna keep getting lighter. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I'm getting to the Getting lighter stage and yeah, I think here ends our update for day five. Oh Wait, I just remembered yeah, because yesterday night um, I was with my mom and I was I had, to, I had to go to my friends pray for my mom when she sees this. She's going to be like, what is this? But it, she looked at me for a while and she was like, did you tattoo your eyebrows? <laughs> First of all, I was surprised because I didn't even know like that she would know. But then also I, I remembered that my mom has always been very beauty savvy. She always knows like new things. She'll be telling you, you know, you don't expect her to know them, but she always has been so passionate about beauty. So she knows stuff so i'm like so i told her you know not exactly but it's kind of like that and you know and explain to her that it fade and my mom has no eyebrows she was like shana should also do the same thing but she told me it looks so nice she said it looks so good she's like even now before the peeling it looks so good moms <laughs> uh but yeah no end of that story bye hi guys um day six i think this okay, I'm coming a little bit closer. This is where we're at. See that? I think you guys can see the patchiness. Things are so you can also see that it's not as dark as yesterday or well, the past couple of days. I'm just going to put on my what's this guy called? The aftercare.
cream guy. Yep, that guy. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad that it has started to scab. You really have to be careful with this type of stuff because, oh, see that? That's the way you're supposed to let it scab, like just come off on its own. Don't force them to come apart. You know, like when you have a wound sometimes and then you're there, to, you want to pick, pick it, to remove the two things, you're supposed to let them, supposed to let this stuff come off on its own. I know, it's kind of gross, but yeah, there you go. That's how it goes. So you notice that even as you're putting on the cream, and I'm doing this really, really gently, the scabs just sort of start to fall away very um, smoothly. And that's what you want. You don't want to force things and then you get problems. You get some problems. Yeah, this is not going to focus anyway. So that's the way it's done. Gently. Who's the, <laughs> the sad thing is that now it just it's going to keep getting really patchy. You know, I'm just going to look I have okay, I have just like crazy patchy eyebrows. But it's all good. I, I don't know if you guys can see um can you see like just like how natural the strokes look in the areas where it's really come off? I really like that. I can't wait. I feel like it's going to look really, really fantastic. Obviously my other hairs on the you know perimeter are growing back in, but that's a problem for another day. Right now, I'm just Miss Patchy Eyebrows. Hi guys, day seven, I think. Energy is a tiny bit low. But um, let's just look at these eyebrows. I mean, it's just a continuation of the patchiness. I'm just going to put on the balm right now. If I reckon some of this will peel off, will peel off. La, 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 la. Yeah. No, I'm kind of surprised at how light this got. Like, I don't know. You know how it started out so crazy? I knew it would subside, but I guess not. I was not prepared. As you can see, you know, this whole whatever is, you just keep coming off and chilling all over my face. The scabs, but see how gently they're coming off, just coming off with the, the balm. It's not cute, but <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know, it feels like my skin has healed. <laughs> Faster than I don't know. I guess than I anticipated. I don't know it would be at this stage in seven days. You know I mean? Because I just like I'd be online looking at some charts, and it felt like where I am right now is where I'd been about fourteen days. So I don't know if this just um, goes differently for different people. Because I remember. Brenda was telling me that for some reason she, what she has experienced is that people over here, that is Uganda, um, seem to heal faster. So I don't know. Weather? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but when I look at the, 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 the photos online, this should be where I'm at in two weeks. And it's day seven. Amazing. Hi guys, day eight I think. Anyway, um, so this is where we're at. Eyebrows are patchy, <laughs> patchy, but you know, it's not so bad. It's you know, it's that patchy where I can walk around and not look crazy. So I'm just getting in real quick so you can see it. A little close. Okay, there you go. Just focused as you can see. Some of that scabbing that hasn't come out yet. Not really sure what this is about, but <laughs> we'll see. And yeah. A little bit sleep deprived. <laughs> but um, 
I think it's safe to say I'm done with the scabbing, scabbing stage. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I am a bit confused about these lines over here. Overall, I think the shape looks quite nice. Doing your close up. Hello again, people. So, day, you know what? I'll just insert the day here because I'm not been counting. But um, let me just come in a little bit closer. I think it looks really good. Tell me what you think for real, for real. Be honest, be honest. My mom said it looks mwah. <laughs> and I really feel the same, actually. I think it looks really quite nice. Um, you remember last time I was so focused on the inconsistency of like, oh, this starts from here. And other, but that's actually what my eyebrows are like naturally. I realized um, since it was more defined in that dark stage. But now that it looks like, you know, more natural, more, you know, like this um yeah it's it doesn't it's not as crazy as it looked before last time it looked kind of lopsided and crazy but yeah this is actually what my eyebrows are like one of my eyebrows begins a bit more you know what like closer to the center of my face than the other one i've also always had one that's more arched than the other so that also wasn't a surprise for me like this she actually did work within the lines that i have like this is actually what my eyebrows i like i didn't even really not some of these things, but anyway, so many words. I really, really like it. I would love to hear what you guys think. I love the fact that I just wake up in the morning, I take a shower, I moisturize, and this is me. This is me. <laughs> I think it looks really quite nice. It feels very um, Lily, is it Lily Collins or Lily Allen? The one with the great brows. She has beautiful eyebrows. Anyway. Yeah, but I love, I love the vibe. It looks really, really good. Also, I don't know if I said this before, but um, I was so relieved to find that the crazy stage, you know, at initial stage where they're like this thick and like super dark and it's crazy. And then there's the scabbing. I was so relieved that that stage only lasted a week. I thought it would last longer, but I don't know. It really didn't after one week. I was almost exactly like this. There was just like a little bit of scar being left and you get it. Cause that crazy stage is <laughs> quite crazy. <laughs> so yeah, man, you take, when you're on leave, yeah, that's when you do this thing. <laughs> because if you're going to work a Monday to Friday and you're looking like that, I, I see how that can be a problem. But yeah, it was only a week of the craziness and then we're just in a nice, you know, Oh, guys, I can't stop looking at my eyebrows. <laughs> they look really good. I really, really like them. I mean, as someone who just cannot even with makeup, this is such a godsend. This is a godsend in my life, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to leave all of Brenda's details in the description box so that you guys can reach out. I think that this would be a good time to do it, okay? Get it while it's still on sale. And... Uh... <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, I'm just like, I wake up in the morning and I admire myself. <laughs> anyway, um, so as you guys know, there's a second session, um, 40 days from the first one, which is around the 30th of January or the 1st of Feb, around then. We haven't yet scheduled it, but yeah, then we'll be doing some touch-ups. It's supposed to help um, this last longer and you know so fix whatever issues there might be but we'll get into it then i've decided this will be a two-part series so this first part of it is going to end here and then i'll do a second part um that starts from that second session and on into the final final <laughs> you know look of when we are real done for real although i really already like it now <laughs> Oh, also, here is a chart just to kind of give you give you um, an overview. I feel like that would be helpful. So, <laughs> I 
anyway so yeah i will see you in part two i hope this helped you and just like gave you a clearer idea of what this whole microblading thing is about me i used to just sit and be like i i have to do that thing one day i have to okay i don't like doing makeup and i like a good bra <laughs> what do i mean well i mean don't like and also just not know how to it's both it's a little bit of both so <laughs> yeah i hope it's given you like a little bit of insight on this process and what it's like microblading um also not to be confused with micro shading micro shading has more of a makeup -y look you know as even the name suggests it has more of a shade kind of thing i'll insert a picture but if you want something more natural looking then you want to go for blading because it's you know it's strokes it looks like strokes of eyebrow hair <laughs> so yeah i will see you guys next time in part two thank you so much for watching and bye